Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to see how to deploy our web games with uh, Heroku using uh, Node.js. So this way is going to work for all the games that we have done in this channel using P5.js and JavaScript. So we are going to use this uh, project, that Tetris that we have done a few videos ago. And so let's start. Uh, in the description uh, is going to be the uh, the link to the github project for this uh, tetris game so you can use it and and do all the steps that we are going to do in this video so let's close this first and let's open this with visual studio code first of all we need to uh, start working this project in a node.js way because right now it's working but not in a really uh, Node.js way with a Node.js server and so on. So first of all, we need to create a package that JSON in order to sorry need to rename this. So we're going to create a package that JSON in order to manage our all all of our dependencies. So here we have a package.json has the name, the version, the description. We are we are going to use as main a uh, server.js file, and we the only dependency that we are going to need for this project is Express. So let's create our server.js file and let's write a simple server. So here we have our server.js. It's going to use Express. Uh, path and HTTP. Also, we are going to ask for our available port. If not, we are going to use 9090 and let's create an app, an Express app. This app is going to use the public folder. So we are going to create here a public folder. So a new folder and use public. And we are, we are going to copy everything related to our game in this folder. So we need to copy everything except the server, the readme, and the package, and the git ignore. So let's cut this and put it inside public and also the libraries. So cut uh, libraries. So now we have this. Let's open Visual Studio Code again. And this is going to search for the index.html that we have here and we're going to set the port and we are going to create a server and we are going to console.log this message in order to see the available port so we're going to open a cmd in the folder of the project so cmd and we're going to use npm install in order to download the, the dependencies so the dependencies have been downloaded successfully. So now we are going to do npm start to start the server in order to see if this is working. So it says that server is up and running on port 9090. So let's open that localhost 9090. It should work. Okay, it's working. Great. So now let's do everything related to Heroku. In Heroku, you can deploy uh, too many apps with different languages as, such as Java, Python, and Node.js. In this case, I have three apps. I'm going to upload a new app. So let's do this. And I'm going to shut the server first. And in the console, we are going to do a Heroku login. And we're going to go login. So we have been logged in successfully. And right now we need to uh, upload this to our brown to our branch. So, so let's do that minus i. And let's add all the untracked files and the changes. And let's do a commit. It's going to to deploy, and we can use uh, 
git push origin and I'm going to use this branch I'm using this branch in order to deploy so now the app is uh, already uploaded into our deployable branch so now we need to type sorry we need to type Heroku create in order to just create a new Heroku app so let's do this and this is going to create this new app so I think if we go here we're going to be able to see that new app yes we see it here so right now we need to do a git push but right now we're going to use Heroku and instead of origin we're going to use deployable and master if you are not using a branch as deployable you just use git push Heroku master this is going to upload all the changes since it's uploading them okay so now it is uploaded and it's also good to use Heroku uh, PS two points scale sorry scale web equals one so this is going to scale a, di a dino and let's do Heroku open let's see if this works it seems it's going to work it's loading first time it takes some time so now we see our application running as it should be so thanks for watching and uh, if you go here or to close this if you go here you see you can you have all the info about your app you can go to settings and see the resources deploy and the metrics and so on so you can do all the maintenance of your app here and well also if you go to personal and open this again and go to open up it's going to open again also you can uh, change the domain to another that you could buy uh, this is a video for my channel I'm going to put it down in the description but for this video uh, we are done uh, thanks for watching please stay tuned and subscribe if this video was useful for you bye